main differences between the hybrid cars and the electric cars. Which one is the best? Let's say, hey, Jose, I want to buy a vehicle, but I am very interested in love with the hybrids. I'm in love with the electric, but I can't decide myself which one could be the better for me. Now, let's study very quickly the main characteristics of full electric and full hybrid. Nissan Leaf compared to the Toyota Aqua. Let's pop the hood. All right, what do we have here? The hood and the full electric. I understand it could be a little complicated, a little difficult to decide which one could be the best for you if it's a hybrid or electric. But understanding each one of the vehicle's main characteristics will be easier for you to decide. Full hybrid cars, of course, have absolutely all the components for an electric car. The motor controller, a huge electric motor underneath. Now, in this case, it's two. But the difference, obviously, is because we have a normal internal combustion engine that eventually will require normal engine oil, air filter, spark plugs, the injectors, everything that the normal internal combustion engines will take. But then a full electric vehicle is kind of another story because what do we have here? This is this an engine. This is not an engine. This is exactly something similar to this. Of course, in the hybrid is small. In the electric is way bigger. The difference is this is the motor controller and power distribution module. Over here we have the connector for the normal charger and the fast charger. We have the DC to DC converter out there. Remember that these vehicles do not use any type of alternator, nothing. They just step down the voltage from the high voltage system and point this electricity directly to the onboard normal 12 volt system. And then under this controller is a huge electric motor. Yes, in full electric car, you forget about engine oil, air filter, and all this kind of crap. Spark plugs, you need to change in oil, you need to compression test. None of those things, you forget that forever. Although in hybrid, you have to take care of your internal combustion engine as normal as it gets. Now, when it comes to fuel range or electricity range, which one is the best? Hybrid vehicle is a combination between two technologies, the electricity and full internal combustion engine, so you have the benefits of both. Although in the high voltage system, you're just using a low capacity, high voltage battery in order to assist and power the vehicle only at low speed. And the rest of the day is the internal combustion engine who takes charge. But fuel range is not such a problem in a hybrid car because once again, you have the very best benefits of both technologies. So yeah, you don't depend on a charger if you go, for example, in suburban places or you're doing long distance travel. In electric vehicle, that's another story. Electric vehicles, you want to top up the power, you will need the onboard electrical charging system. But the thing is, you don't find this anywhere. Obviously, you have your normal charger that you're supposed to carry in your car. But if you have a trouble, if you're doing long distances, um, you gotta be careful with this because you're, I'm afraid you're not gonna find chargers everywhere. But if you take care of the range, if you understand how the range of the, an electric vehicle works, you shouldn't have any problem by using it properly. But then like for examples, traveling low distances, traveling in the city, doing all these kind of things, you forget about fuel forever. But when it comes to the hybrid, yeah, that's another story. You still need to top up your gasoline every certain often. Hybrid is the great benefit, but that's how it is. Doesn't really matter which one, it's the one you like the most. Both technologies are the best. Personally, I like the electric vehicles pretty much. The high voltage battery in the electric vehicles does not require any type of maintenance, given that they're such a huge battery that they have a liquid cooling thermal management system. Hybrid cars, they don't need such a big battery, so they're air cooled and eventually they require more maintenance. Now, for example, this electric vehicle is almost 10 years old and is driving as good as it gets. Now, the high voltage battery in the hybrid car is another story. Usually every couple of years, you should take it out for do preventive maintenance. Need more maintenance, need less maintenance, makes a little noise, doesn't make any noise, drives amazing, drives amazing, lots of range, not too much range, more service and maintenance, practically zero maintenance. I strongly recommend if you like the electric vehicles, go ahead, just make sure follow the very same protocols in order to apply the proper maintenance. But as I said, electric vehicles, maintenance is practically zero. Now in hybrid cars, that's another story. They have too many components. The more components your vehicle will have, the more maintenance that should be. So anyway, both technologies are fine, hybrid and or electric. Whatever you choose, choose widely. But both vehicles are amazing. Stick around for more tips. Bye-bye.